I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick this up again. I'm like hearing after I remove the the band uh, wedge and clamp. So I like to just be a little more thorough. I'm going from the side, coming from the other side. I'm going to use a scaler next. I went ahead and added to that lingual on three. That's good. I'm just going to come in and have my light up, please. I'm just taking away any of that excess now. I can see a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, flash, excess, etc. Here's the band. We've got a nice rolled occlusal embrasure, which is nice, which what you want to see. Grabbing a hemostat. Hopefully it'll come out fairly easy. We're still hanging in there with our rubber dam. Isn't that great? Doesn't matter at this point. I'm going to do a little bit of trimming here before I, I get uh, probably um, critiqued at this point where some viewers feel that this procedure, part of it, is, is may cause issues with enamel. I'm just staying on composite, folks. I'm not touching enamels. I try to avoid as much as I can. But this is all composite, all right? I know there's some viewers out there that uh, have mentioned that in other videos. So. Okay. Coming down this lingual side. Let's get rid of a little bit of this excess composite. Hey, you could take a scaler and scale the occlusal too. You know, whatever you want to do. I'm going to finish up with some nice polishing. We'll check the occlusion. That's not bad anatomy. I, I kind of like it. Let's look closer at it. You know, got some nice contours. And uh, we'll move on to the next step. Pop off the rubber dam. Cotton plier. Alright, let's get that off. There we go. That's yours. This is mine. And slide that back in just the way we started. Cover the distal. Uh, okay. There we go. Hand off. Hand off. Take that. Hand off. Okay. Can I have some articulating paper, please? All set for articulating paper. I'll dry it. Paper in, please. Okay, close all the way down. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, let's see where we're hitting. Okay, so we got an incline here. A little incline right there. A little something right there. Okay, paper ready again. Tap, tap, tap. Good. Back molar still hitting high uh, spot. Round this a little bit. <clears throat> and tap, tap again. <laughs> I got a little piece of rubber dam. We'll get that later. I always mention, you know, if you're hitting even on this side, it should be as even on the other. I got my mirror. Ahead. He's dry. Tap, 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 tap. Great. That's an incline, so what I want to do is adjust the lower a little bit. Might have a lower functional cusp that's out too far. Let's put that in. Tap, tap, and open, and tap again. Let's just see how your teeth come together. Close. 
he's almost uh, end to end on the on the molar, so that's probably why you know you're getting a cuss tip that's right on orthodontically right on the uh, right on this side. So that should be pretty close, John. How's that feel to you? Feels good? Bite down, grind a little bit. Pretty good. Looks like you interdigitate pretty well. Okay, still got a little high sight. Okay, can you suction this, please? It's right here. Okay. Still feels a little high. We'll adjust it again. Close. Slide your teeth on that spot. Okay, open. Let's change the paper up a little bit, maybe move it around, get a little better mark on it. So we have a real flat facet that we cannot avoid because the way his bite is. Bite down, slide. Okay, just let me know when it gets better. Open. Any part of a collaboration. So he's got some Okay, close again, slide again, better now. Okay. I'm just going to relieve this part of the filling. That's enamel, that's enamel, this is enamel. That's his cuss tip, so one more time should do it. Close again. Tap, tap, grind. Are you comfortable? Okay, so we're going to finish polishing. He's going to decide if he's comfortable in a few minutes. Here, we'll uh, pick this up next time. Thanks for watching, and um, we'll see you on the next video clips.